Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here doing a video showing how to manually update your Google Nexus 4 to Android 4.2.2. It is called JDQ39, it's the latest update as of today. I just wanted to do a quick video showing how to manually install it if you are not getting the over-the-air update on your device and you didn't want to wait. This is the official update. This is exactly what's going to come through. I'm completely stock with stock recovery. If you do have a custom recovery and you are stock rooted, then you should be able to just install the uh, update zip through your custom recovery and it should update your device. You might have to reroute afterwards, but that's uh, just a quick note. But anyways, uh, if you are stock just like me with a stock recovery, there are a couple steps that you need to follow. First of all, you need to turn on USB debugging. So go ahead and go into settings, scroll down, go to about phone. And as I said, you do uh, you will need to be on JOP40D right there. That that's what your build number needs to say. Android 4.2.1. Quickly tap on build number seven times until it says you are already a, you are a developer. And then you will see developer options right there. Select it, turn them on, and make sure USB debugging is checked. So once USB debugging is checked, we are ready to go. Uh, you can go ahead and download the update zip file to your PC. I'll link to everything in the description of the video. You'll also need to set up the Android SDK tools and ADB on your PC as well. I'll link to a video showing you how to do so. It's quite easy actually. So uh, those are the two prerequisites. You need to download that update zip and also set up the SDK tools on your PC. So do that now. All right, and once you are done setting up the SDK tools in ADB and you have that update zip downloaded, it should look like this. It should say DE8, the first three letters and numbers and a bunch of them right there. I recommend right-clicking and hitting copy. You can hit cut if you'd like to. You don't need it in that downloads folder. You can go back and delete it if you'd like to. But I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that update zip. Go ahead and go to my C drive and you'll see that SD, Android SDK folder there. Double click on it. Go ahead and go in your platform tools folder and then just paste that update zip into uh, that platform tools folder. So you'll see it right down there. Once you have it pasted, go ahead and highlight the file name, right click and copy the file name. So go ahead and just copy this file name to your clipboard there. Once you have the file name copied to your clipboard, go ahead and hold the shift key on your keyboard and right click. Here, let me go ahead and see, get it so you guys can see. So go ahead and hold the shift key and right click over somewhere that's not on a file name and hit open command window here. So go ahead and type that in and then what, what's going to happen is a command prompt is going to open it on up. So it'll look like this. Now what you need to do is go ahead and grab your Nexus 4. Uh, which with, does have USB debugging on, and plug it into your PC. So plug it on in. If for any reason at all you are having issues with PC not recognizing your device, I highly recommend installing PDA Net on your PC. I will link to PDA Net in the description of the video. Um, make sure you just unplug your device, install PDA Net on your PC, and then try this, these steps once more. So once your device is plugged in, go ahead and type ADB devices in your command prompt right there and hit enter. What's going to happen is it's going to let you know if it recognizes your device uh, through ADB right here. And if it shows a bunch of letters and numbers right there, it's going that lets you know that it does recognize your device. As I said, if it does not recognize it, then install PDA Net and then replug your device into your PC. So once uh, it lets you know that it does recognize it, you can just type ADB reboot recovery. So Go ahead and type ADB Reboot Recovery, and what that's going to do is take us into our stock recovery that we do have. Or you can do this if you have a custom recovery as well. So as I said, it should reboot our phone into that stock recovery. All right, once you get into that stock recovery, this screen will come up. It'll say no command. To get past this screen, it's kind of tricky. It's a little finicky. To do so, press the volume up and the home button at the same time a few times. Um, it's it's kind of tricky because you sometimes accidentally press the power button too many times and you hit reboot system now But just kind of do that until you get into the stock recovery. It's going to look just like this You'll see Android system recovery. It's actually quite easy now uh, Use volume up and down to navigate and press volume down once until you see apply update from ADB And then press the power button to select it and then what it's going to do is say Oh, I'm waiting for this file now send it on over so now what we can do is go back to our command prompt here and once we are at our command prompt, it's actually quite easy. All you have to do is type ADB space sideload, all with one word, and then go ahead and put space, and then right click at the top of your command prompt and highlight edit, and then hit paste. What it's gonna do is paste that file name that we copied to our clipboard a little bit earlier. If it already says .zip at the end of it, then don't do this, but add .zip at the end of it if it does not. Make sure it doesn't say .zip, .zip, only one .zip at the end, so add that. that 
that step is needed to just recognize uh, the file itself. So now we are ready to go. It says now send the file over. Just go ahead and press enter. And then what it's going to do is sideload that file onto our device. You'll see it'll run through. And once it's done sideloading, it's actually going to run through the update on our device itself. All right, once it's done, it says installing system update. It's going to verify everything. You'll see a little progress bar right there. Uh, my guess is it won't take too long. The file says only, what, about 50 megs. So um, not too long, but it will take a bit of time. So I will be back once it is nearer to completion. All right, and it looks like it is now done. It says install from ADB complete, and that would be it. So now all you have to do is in your stock recovery, just go ahead and press the power button while it's highlighting reboot system now, and that should be it. So our phone will now reboot. Since an update was applied, the first boot up might take a little bit longer than usual. You can unplug your device now. You do not need it plugged in anymore. It's up to you if you need it in there or not. But yeah, I'm going to let this boot up, and I will be back. All right, so you'll see it says Android is upgrading. Depending on how many apps you have, that could take a bit of time. Uh, it'll start up the apps, it'll finish our boot, and then we will get taken to our lock screen like so. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. And then what I'm going to do is go into those settings, scroll all the way down, go back to About Phone, and show you we are now on Android 4.2.2 right there, build number JDQ39. And there you have it. So we are now in the latest software from Google, manually installed. Uh, if you have any issues, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. I will do a video show talking about the change log and the different features of 4.2.2. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I'll link to it in the description when it is done. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this helped out. Be sure to leave a comment. Subscribe to me as well for future videos. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.